Today we're going to talk about how to send 1,000 cold emails a day. The power of cold email can't be overlooked. We're going to show you how you can reach out to potential clients and customers with the click of a button. Now, sending cold emails isn't just a mundane task. It's an art form, a strategic dance of will and persuasion that can transform your business and win the hearts of your customers far and wide. But why you may wonder, should I be sending cold emails? Well, first and foremost, cold emails offer a direct line of communication to your target audience. So when you're getting started with cold emails, you're typically looking for a 3% response rate, which is a pretty strong response rate to have. This means if you send 1000 cold emails, you should expect about 30 emails back. Now, cold emailing is really a numbers game. The more you reach out, the more people you should expect responses from. But wait, here's a quick warning. There's something that you should be warned about before you get into this. You have to watch out and be mindful of the amount of emails you're sending from one email address. Now, a quick rule of thumb is you probably don't want to use your primary email address for this. More on this in a bit. But first, let's get you into your first step to sending cold emails. The first step to cold emailing is to build a lead list. And there are several ways to do this. The first way to do this is you can hire list builders straight from websites like Upwork.com. You want to make sure that your list consists of the first and last name of a customer, their email address, and any data that can help you make the email more personalized when it comes to a specific customer. When hiring a list builder, you must be specific on what kinds of data you would prefer on that Excel or Google Sheet document. And you want to typically start with a list of 5,000 potential prospects. Now, if you're looking to get 5,000 to start this off, you might want to be looking at a few different list builders to collect data so you can build out your list faster. Now, before providing your list builders with some information, provide them with specific pages they can scrape. For instance, if you're a real estate agent and you want to look for other realtors, you should provide them with a link to Zillow or Realtor.com. And the second way to get data is to leverage technology to help you scrape data for your cold emails. Now, some AI tools you can use are LinkedIn Sales Navigator, LeadSwift, E7 Lead Finder, and of course, Magical. Now, let's get into some details about them all. First, let's talk about LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a subscription-based tool offered by LinkedIn, and it's primarily designed for sales professionals, marketers, and recruiters to enhance their prospecting and lead generation efforts. It provides advanced features and functionalities beyond what is available on your standard LinkedIn platform. Some features of LinkedIn Sales Navigator include advanced search filters, lead saving and organization, team collaboration, real-time updates and insights, and integrations with CRM systems such as Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, and others, allowing for seamless data synchronization and a workflow management. Now, overall, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is designed to help sales professionals identify, connect with, and build relationships with potential leads more effectively, ultimately driving sales and business growth. Now, before you commit to LinkedIn Sales Navigator's monthly fee, you can start off with a free trial. Now, let's talk about LeadSwift. LeadSwift offers a cutting edge cloud-based solution for lead generation and outreach. At the push of a button, it scours local businesses such as restaurants, providing comprehensive insights essential for selling your product services effectively. Now these insights encompass website health, advertising presence, SEO performance, customer rating, social media profiles, and more. Moreover, LeadSwift will show contact details for both business and specific people within the company, including names, emails, roles, and even social media links. It allows you to automate your personal outreach, including follow-ups all within LeadSwift's intuitive interface. Now, they have a pricing list on their website that you can check out and all the restrictions on how many searches you get per plan. Next up, let's talk about D7 Lead Finder. D7 Lead Finder is classified as a B2B database tool, which is a powerful tool that can provide detailed and accurate data about specific leads. It's similar to LeadSwift as it operates via a centralized database housing contact details for businesses accessible to users for a fee. Now, this tool empowers users to seek out leads using assorted criteria, including industry, location, and company size. With a reported database encompassing millions of contacts, users can readily access and export the data that they need for utilization in outreach initiatives. Moreover, D7 Lead Finder provides supplementary functionalities like email verification, domain search, and contact enrichment, enhancing efficiency in the lead generation journey. And finally, Magical. Magical is a free Chrome plugin that doubles as both a text expander and a web scraping tool. It's really easy to install and use, and there's zero setup required. And yes, 
it's entirely no code. While tools like Phantom Buster are better suited for large scale data extraction needs, Magical's scraping capabilities are geared towards speeding up your everyday workflow. For example, if you find yourself updating your CRMs or APSs a lot with new profiles, Magical is a great choice. It'll teleport the data from your open tabs, such as LinkedIn profiles of potential prospects, into your chosen destination, like your CRM or Google Sheets. You can scrape data like this from any website. Now let's get into the next section. Remember the warning that we gave to you earlier? Well, you cannot, and I will repeat, you cannot send 2000 emails from one personal email. It will get you blocked and your emails will end up in the spam folder. To do this right, you have to buy different domains and set up new email addresses. For instance, let's say you run a graphic design business called graphics for you you wouldn't want to send a million emails from your main domain graphics but instead you want to go out and buy other domains like it, such as get graphics for you.com or for you graphics.com. Next, you want to set up a few email addresses under each domain. And from each email, you can send in and around 50 emails a day. Let's say 50 emails a day. When I'm setting up new email addresses, I usually look to create three email addresses per domain I create. So you get more domains, which allow you to set up more email addresses, which allows you to send more emails per day. So you can and see how we can eventually get to sending over 1,000 emails a day. Now, once you have your domain and your email set up, you want to use an email sending service like Instantly or Lemlist to send your emails. Let's hop into a quick Instantly demo to show you how easy it can be. Okay, so once you sign up for Instantly, you want to hop over here to the email accounts tab. And here you're going to load in all those emails that we just made. So you're just going to press up here, add new. And then you're going to go through the setup to add your emails. They have a very good step-by-step -step instructions and it takes only a couple of minutes to add each email. Now, once you have your emails loaded, we're going to go and set up a campaign. So head over here to the campaigns tab and press add new. Now here you want to name your campaign. We're just going to leave the my campaign name for this example. And then you want to go and upload your leads. So we're going to press on add leads and then you can go and upload your leads via CSV. Now, once you're uploading your leads, it's going to ask you a few questions like, oh, is this the column for first name? Is this the column for last name? You just want to make sure all of those are correct. Usually they are, but if anything's wrong, just make sure you change that. Now, if we go back, the main thing you want to set up is sequences. So just to show you how this works, we're just going to write hello as the subject line with the person's name. This isn't a great subject line, but just so you can see how this works. Now, if we press insert variables, we can choose first name. And we're going to go and add the person's first name here. So now whenever this email sends, it's going to say hello and then the person's first name, not just hello. So it makes it feel a little bit more personal to the person that you're sending the email to. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to write hi, first name, comma. And then after you get that in, you're just going to go write the body of your email. And what's really interesting about Instantly is that you can set up all your follow up emails in here to send after a certain amount of days. So if we go and we press add step, you can see it says send next message in blank amount of days. So let's say we want to send a follow up five days later, just write five days. And then here we can write our second email. Now, this will be the follow up email that sends five days after our first email. Now let's say if nobody responds to either the step one, which is our first email or step two, we want to set up another email. We just press add step again. And maybe after another, let's say seven days, it sends our third step email. And then here we can write our next email. So we can easily hop in and set up a chain of three, four, five emails. If you get a response back, that will show up in your Unibox right here. So it's a really smart setup to help you with your cold emails. You don't need to remember, oh, did I follow up with this person? When you're doing it manually, there's so many extra things that you have to think about. Now your setup is almost complete. Just head over to schedule to finish things up. You wanna make sure that your timing is set up. So right now it's set up from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Mondays to Fridays. And then we're gonna head over to options. And this is where you're gonna select which emails to send from. So those emails that I just showed you how to load within email accounts, here you're gonna select which email accounts you want to send from for this campaign. Now, once all of this is set up, you can select your daily limit of emails for the entire campaign. So right now it's set at 30. Obviously, the more emails you have, the more emails you can send. And once all this is set up, we just wanna go down and press launch and you're good to go. So that's our guide on how you can send 1,000 cold emails in a day. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you in the next video.